Overworked GameStop employees. I mean, this is a tale as old as time. GameStop employees have been getting shit on for years. Yeah. They get made fun of by the general public. Oh, the GameStop guy's only going to give me $10 for my game that I just bought that was $60. Like, all that kind of bullshit. Right. Even uh, though that person has nothing to do with the company's policies. Exactly. I am a former GameStop employee. I worked there for about five months, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sucked. It really did suck. It did. It was not a great experience working at GameStop. Yeah. My boss was not fun. I was going to say, you were a former GameStop employee from years yeah. ago. Yeah, and it it taught me how you should run a game shop. Working for GameStop taught me how to do it properly because I treated it more like uh, like an indie game shop, like a mom and pop. People would come in. I had like regulars that I would talk to. I wouldn't push shit, and, and I didn't get fired. I left on my own volition. They actually called me months after I left to try to bring me back onto the team. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think I, I brought something that GameStop probably doesn't want me to bring what, when knowledge? I was there. Knowledge, but also just like the the non shilling of all of their abysmal things that they have. Right. So, I mean, I would offer the the memberships and stuff when it made sense, but I wasn't I wasn't abysmal. I mean, I would tell parents like, "Yo, your kid's about to buy a game with titties in it." Mm -hmm. But uh, besides that, I was I was a you know good employee. But yeah. So anyway, I, I, I have a I have a story going off of that, but let's let's do this first. And I'll no, tell no, it go ahead, end. go ahead. No, let it go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say because of, of abysmal GameStop employees, I remember one time dude and i think i've told you this story before and i'll make a, a long story short but basically grand theft auto san andreas mm. was out i was a young boy okay we were not even teenagers when that game yeah, came out very young but i wanted it now my mom didn't care back in the day but obviously she had to go with me right to purchase it we went to a GameStop in the mall the the old the old oxford dude ah uh, yes say. oxford's crossing same people still work at that GameStop, by the way. Yeah. Um, walked in there. Wanted GTA San Andreas. Went to go get it. My mom goes up to the counter with me. The guy behind the counter is like, do you know what's in this game? My mom was like, yeah, I don't care. And he's like, he like proceeded to try to really get my mom not to purchase this game. Was like explaining all the terrible things with it. And I remember so distinctly, dude, my mom looks at me, she looks back up the person at the counter, and she's like, either you let me buy it, or I'm just going to go to another GameStop and buy it there instead. So what do you want to do? And he was like, that's all awesome. right. And she bought it. I remember GTA San Andreas was the first instance of a game being so rated M that like you couldn't buy it. Mm -hmm. Like before that, I had never heard of that. When I was I was a kid, so sure. like I wasn't looking for games like that. But I don't recall any other time where it was like you had to bring your parent with you to get it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would do that if it was like a game with titties in it. I would be like, "Ma'am, you know that this game." Like if it was like a little kid, I would tell them. Like mm -hmm. I'd be like, "This no. kid's too young." That's if it's fair. a teenager, I wouldn't. That's fair. But you know, my mom. It was just awesome, dude. That's all. I that is like. awesome. That yeah. that is awesome. T-shirt on sale now. Yeah. Um, have to can tell com. But yeah, so this story is about overworked GameStop employees walking out and telling gamers to shop elsewhere. This is bye coming bye. from Kotaku. So the GameStop in the Gateway Mall in Lincoln, Nebraska is one of the busiest around, at least according to the person who used to run it. But over the weekend, it was closed after four employees decided to walk out and never return over what they say are bad working conditions and a verbally abusive district manager. It's the second time this year a GameStop in the area saw its entire staff resign in protest. That's fucking awful. Mm. This DM should be gone. If you have two groups of your staff leave, you're done. I know that for me, my team, we didn't like our manager. And one person, he was actively trying to get one of us fired, this one guy. And the guy was just having the worst luck. Like his little baby niece died mm -hmm. and he was homeless. Like, he was like living with his like girlfriend because his parents kicked him out. Like it was just like these awful and maybe it was all bullshit. Mm -hmm. But to me, he's like, yeah, man, like all this bad shit's happening to me. And Chris, ooh, I just name dropped him, whatever. Chris is trying to uh, fire me. And he was literally trying to fire him. He was like looking at the tapes Mm -hmm. trying to catch him like not working so he could use that as an excuse and write him up like it was just off it was really bad so eventually all of us were like putting our two weeks in even one of his closest friends at the store mm -hmm. was like yeah i'm quitting we all quit so mm -hmm. I, I can relate to this kind of like mm -hmm. it's not worth it it's really not but yeah. 
they taped the the people that left in where was this again uh lincoln nebraska they taped a paper to the door mm-hmm. which was locked and closed the store was closed because everyone left the sign said we regret to inform you that we all quit <laughs> Our district manager has no respect for us as employees or as human beings. We have been told by our district manager that we were supposed to have had this store achieving sales quotas and running perfectly six months ago, which was three months before a lot of us even got hired. Unfortunately, despite the staff's best efforts, we are not God. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome. The paper then listed nearby competitors, including a a place called Entertain Mart, located elsewhere in the same mall, and told would-be customers to shop there instead. Quote, spend your money at an establishment that respects its employees, unquote. Mm -hmm. Uh, So then Kotaku did an interview with Frank Moore, the store's recently promoted manager, and he said, for my health, I had to leave. The stress and anxiety were so bad he had trouble sleeping and wasn't even enjoying games anymore, which I can relate to that. He said he only started working there in late 2021, and while at first it was fun, it quickly turned into a nightmare between the lack of resources and management's strict quotas. To put up to put to put up with it, Moore said he was paid 17 an hour, 17 mm. bucks, just two dollars over the entry level rate at the nearby Target. While those under him only Whoa. made nine dollars, which was Nebraska's minimum wage, mm. I can attest to that. I was making probably eight dollars, a little bit over the seven twenty-five mm. uh, minimum wage. He also claimed he was never properly trained by the company on any of the new responsibilities he was given as manager, nor given the resources and time to train others at the store. At one point, he said he had to work over two weeks straight with no days off, keeping the store functioning. And then he said, when I asked for support, I was met with silence. Um, what do you think about all this? There's a little bit more, but bad. I mean, that, for that pay, that district manager needs to be looked at. In general, the whole company to even hire people at that rate is. Yeah, well, I mean, disgusting. listen, dude, you know, I mean, I, I work in executive positions, other places. And, you know, the first thing I always ask when I read something like this is, where are your SOPs? Where are your standard operating procedures for hiring? Where are your standing o- standard operating procedures for training? Where are your standard operating procedures for management? Smart. Because if you don't train people, if that's the first thing complaint I hear from anything that I supervise is you don't train, where are your SOPs? If you don't have them, you're fired. That's it. There you go. Because that means you have literally zero brain cells to be a manager. Yeah. So. I mean, these guys, these guys weren't, they were brought in as fodder, really, and they weren't trained properly. This guy couldn't train his staff. He, he literally is the store's main manager who's been there since the late 2021. He came in right. at the worst time, holiday yeah. season. Mm. Yeah. It really sucks. Uh, so then he says, uh, the district manager whom he accused of routinely threatening and dressing down staff over their failure to meet impossible goals. He was abusive verbally. He would constantly threaten people's jobs. The staff would be told they could be easier, easily replaced by other college kids, part of a ceaseless churn and burn mentality that Moore said was part of the why this part of why the store was always struggling to meet its unrealistic quotas. All he sees are numbers on a computer. Mm-hmm. Uh I can I can attest to this. This was happening at my store. Sure. Uh, it was literally just hire cheap, you know, people that want to work at a game store because they think it's sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. But is then it, they trick you. Is there incentives for DM or management level positions for quotas? Like, did they will will they get like rewards and stuff? Yeah, like bonuses or rewards or. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak to that because I wasn't a district manager or a or a store manager, but you would have uh, they to wanted think to, so, right? I would I would say yes. They wanted to make me an assistant store manager when I was there. I said that I felt like the way that the store was I, I was literally this guy and instead of taking the offer, I said no. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I could tell it was gonna be a mess. Sure. And what I would understand is that they did give out incentives. I don't know if it was for necessarily hitting the quota, mm-hmm. but they they had like a GameStop conference at the end of the year where they would mm-hmm. fly all of the store managers out in Texas mm-hmm. and they would give them free swag. It was almost like an E3 type of thing, right. but you would like win like a PlayStation five for being a store manager an Xbox head, right. headphones. And my manager would come back with like the stuff he didn't want and give it to the, you know, mm-hmm. employees that were performing well, mm-hmm. uh, but it was all bullshit. So, yeah. 
So a similar walkout sign taped to a Lincoln, Nebraska, other uh, uh, another Lincoln, Nebraska GameStop earlier this year also blamed the district manager for the mask resignation. There have actually been four walkouts since August of 2021 because of this district manager, mm. wrote one former employee on Facebook. Two at each location. The first ones were kept pretty quiet, though. Mm. When asked about the prospect of unionizing amid huge labor pushes at Starbucks, Amazon, and Apple, as well as recent mm. efforts in the larger gaming industry, Moore said he can't see it ever happening. Like every other current and former GameStop employee Kotaku have spoken to in the past year, he feels turnover is too high and management is too ruthless for anything like that to ever get off the ground. Yeah, uh, I mean, retail is hard and is a dying beast and definitely has the highest rate of turnover probably out of almost every industry, I would think. Um, and it is unfortunate because it's probably the one where it might be needed the most. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, it's a bad situation. Um, GameStop only still exists because of the huge influx of meme cash that they had. Um, I genuinely believe they would be completely done if it had not been for that. Yeah. So yeah, bad. Uh, I haven't. I don't. I couldn't even tell you the last time I stepped foot in a GameStop. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's bad. bad, dude. I I when I say that, like I genuinely hated the culture of that place i hated it mm -hmm. it was all numbers based it was all like you weren't allowed to ever sit like you couldn't take a, i mean this is retail in general you can't sit down because then you're not doing anything you constantly have to keep busy even if there's literally not a single thing to do in the store you had to like do like these like quizzes online to get your points up on the system in the back end it was really stupid dude and uh the way they like sent stuff over like i literally watched certain programs roll out like buy online pay in store uh they called it bops mm -hmm. I, I was there when they first rolled that out basically you could buy something and then go pick it up at the store mm -hmm. it was a mess no one knew what the fuck was going on people were just coming in like where's my stuff manager district manager nobody was you know relaying that information down properly mm -hmm. uh i was there when um they had a big push from think geek Mm. When they, they started pushing Think Geek products in their store, our store specifically was almost like a toy store more than yeah. it was a game store. So I don't know. It was my GameStop that I grew up going to. I literally remember buying my Resident Evil chainsaw controller there when I was a kid. Mm. And all of the dreams and all the things you think would be so great about working at a game store, it's not the case with GameStop. It's quite literally the opposite of what you think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So good for these guys for for putting their foot down and, uh, and all fi and not firing, all getting you know, putting their two weeks in or quitting or whatever the fuck they did. They just walked out. Yeah. So, uh, frankly says in the chat, retail employees get shifted, uh, shit on, shitted on all the time. Shit on the most. Uh, true. Uh, Christian says every store has just become hot topic with the lights on FYE and GameStop. Yeah. I mean, even hot topic is a shell of its former self that used to be, you know, just clothes and stuff. And now yeah. it's a toy store too. I they mean, all are. I mean, retail, like I said, retail is pretty much, yeah, I mean, it's hanging on by a thread in a yeah. typical brick and mortar fashion. I mean, I'm surprised FYE is still alive for me. Uh, honest. I, I don't know how I worked I there how. as well. My store specifically shut down because it was too big Yeah, and we, they had no money too much overhead, too few sales. Yeah. So, so yeah um all right anything else on gamestop yeah uh i wish that i was in charge and i would make a lot of decisions that would change things and i would make it more i mean I, it's not like the way you make money necessarily but i would make it more like a mom and pop shop where you know people come in and you treat them like a human they come they they, they get their games i don't know i just think they have a culture that's just awful and I'll, you know what there's a lot of like scam shit too associated with gamestop mm -hmm. because we would literally get people in that you would kind of have to be like racist and you would have to like stereotype people. Like some guy mm -hmm. would come in and you'd be like, Oh, this guy's selling me a, a, a stolen phone. Like they, they taught you to do that. Mm -hmm. Like my boss would be like that guy, he's probably going to like try to sell you or trade in a, a stolen phone or this guy's going to steal. This kid's going to steal because he has a backpack on. And it wasn't just racism. It was just stereotyping in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, someone that looks a little homeless or, or frumpy, maybe mm -hmm. they were going to steal. And that's like a culture that, and FYE did that too, if I'm being mm -hmm. honest, I, that's the one thing I hated about retail is you had to stereotype people and it was just, yeah, that's pretty abysmal. Not good. My boss at, at FYE was like, 
oh, that guy comes in here all the time. I, I always keep an eye on him because I feel like he's going to steal. Dude, it was the older brother of someone you went to school with that I literally saw in mm. Susical the Musical as Cat in the Hat. He was the main character. Mm. And oh, I, I know was who like, you're talking about. Yeah, I was like, that guy's like, he wouldn't hurt a fly. And you're yeah, trying dude. to, like, I was like, she was like, keep an eye on him. I was like, yeah. I know him. Yeah, dude. So. Also, like, is the company that you're working for at retail really worth it, dude? No. You're literally like a grunt. They no. literally treat you like you're in the army and you're just a nobody grunt. They don't care. So. You do not care. So you and they try to say, oh, there's doors. You could you can climb the ladder and you could be a district manager. Yeah, and then no one's going to like me. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're going to make me be the guy that everyone hates. I'm not interested in that. Right. So. so. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Haptic Intel. Did you do it? Subscribe right now.